Hi, Claudia here from Create with Claudia. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm doing one of my favorite videos to do. It's my second video I've done like this. It's an unbox unboxing video. In 2021, I was lucky enough to be chosen as one of Island Boutique's ambassadors. And I have had so much fun doing this program and it has been such an honor to do this program. They have provided me with beautiful fabrics and other things like that. So I do want to take a moment to thank them. I want to thank Island Boutique. I'd like to thank AccuQuilt. At the beginning of the year, if you watched my other video, you would have seen that I got a big cutting machine. It's called the AccuQuilt Go. It's a system. Absolutely loving that. In fact, I've bought two more dies since then. I want to thank Aurafil. They sent us some beautiful thread uh, last time. That was in January was my last unboxing video. That was the first one I got. Schmetz needles, they sent us a bunch of needles and I've been using them. I have always used Schmetz needles, so they're great in my machine and they're really good with the batik that I've been working with. Hobbs batting, wow, they have sent us so much batting. I don't know if there's more in here, we'll see. I did take a quick peek just at the top of the box, but I, this time I didn't look inside. Last time I did peek a little bit more, uh, but this time I'm a little more patient and, and I can wait to see what all I got. I'd like to also thank Patterns by Annie. I can't wait to see what's in my box this time around. And Studio 180 Design. Can't wait to see what's from them too. So thank you to all of the sponsors. And most of all, thank you to Island Boutique for choosing me for this program. Um, six months in, I've done some great things. The quilt behind me is called Bubble Tea. Um, that was one of them. I think that was my April project. Every month I've done a project, so you can head back, um, look on my blog, or look on my YouTube channel. I also, with each project, I did a little freebie, like a free mini quilt type thing. So you can check those out too. So let's get started. This is the fun part. I think I'm going to start with the big box, and we're just going to move these out of the way a little bit and get started. Alrighty, so here are the contents of the big box. They're all laid out here. I'm going to show you one by one. The first thing is from Hobbs Batting. This is called Thermor. It's ultra thin, non-bearding uh, batting. Gorgeous. I cannot wait to use this. I've never used this before. And it's queen size. So um, my goodness, I'm going to have plenty of batting after this. What fun. So thank you to Hobbs Batting. Next up is, again from Hobbs Batting, this is Hobbs Cotton Wool Blend Batting, and this is called their Tuscany uh, Collection, and this is a throw size, which will be perfect for some of my smaller projects. I do do some smaller projects, like the one behind me, so this is a great size for that, and this is a cotton wool uh, blend, excuse me, can't wait to use that. Next up is more batting. I love batting. I, I have this huge stack in my in my uh, sewing room of batting, and this is again from Hobbs. This is Hobbs Heirloom Fusible Batting Strips. Now I've never used those, so this is going to be fun to use. I I need to think of something fun to do this uh, to, to use this with. So I can't wait to play a little uh, around with this a little bit. Here's a little bit more batting. This is Hobbs Heirloom Fusible Fusible Batting. Can't wait to try that. Sort of like those strips, but this is a regular. Let's see what size this is. Queen size, awesome. Um, I am set for batting for a while. I need to really start making some more quilts. <laughs> so thank you again to Hobbs. This is Hobbs Heirloom. All right, here's another one. This is Hobbs Heirloom 2020 Bleached Cotton Batting. And it's again, queen size, great. So a nice cotton batting. I like all kinds of batting. So I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this one too. This is Hobbs, excuse me, Hobbs. <laughs> Hobbs 2020 Blended Heirloom Batting, queen size. So next up, let's see, this is our, uh, they come through again. This is Island Batique Solids. I did not know the Batique Solids before I started with this program, and I have fallen in love with them. They're just such a nice texture. This is a gray, a white, and a black, five yards of each, holy moly. Um, I cannot wait to use those. They are great for all kinds of projects, for backings, but I really, they have such a nice texture. And I am just really excited to get more of these. Like I said, black, white, and gray, five yards of each. Thank you. So let's see what's next. Ooh, Deb Tucker's. This is the Studio 180 uh, product. This is called Corner Beam, and I cannot wait to use this. It says it's for left and right-handed. I'm right-handed like most people, so. But it makes this block here, and I think it makes some other ones too if you join them differently. I'm gonna play with that a lot. In fact, this is for our August project, so look for that in August, and I'll be making a quilt with this. Okay, let's see what else. More fabric, and this one is six yards of sprinkles. This is one of their foundation, excuse me, foundations. It's basics, I think it's, or actually neutrals. Um, and you gotta love neutrals, who, can, who doesn't love neutrals? And I said this in the last video too, I, um, 
love doing scrap quilts. If you know my work, you know I love doing scrap quilts. And I will be keeping the ribbon that this is tied up in because I, I always use red fabric. Um, this is gorgeous. It's a nice white background with lots of little sprinkles in it. Last time I got, I think it was coconut, which was, uh, I used pretty much all of that. So I'm glad I got this. Okay, let's see what else was in the big box. Ah, here's my patterns by Annie. This is going to be my September challenge. It's going to be a bag. They have some great patterns. I was looking them up a little bit online. This is going to be fun for me. This is definitely going to be a challenge. I don't normally sew bags, so I'm really looking forward to this. And I'm going to sort of be really concentrated. I've already told my family that when I'm making this, I need to really pay attention. Um, I chose one, actually, that I'm going to make, hopefully for my daughter. Uh, she's going off to college, and um, she needed something, and I thought this would be a cute design. So this is the fabric that they gave me. This is Island Boutique fabric and the Patterns by Annie pattern that I'm using, and I can't wait to show it to you in September. Okay, let's see what else was in that big box. Oh, Orophil. Who doesn't love Orophil? Excuse me. This month, we're, excuse me, this year, the end of the year, I believe it's our October challenge. We're going to be using this thread and we're going to design a piece uh, based on their endangered species uh, series that they have. I believe they're 12 different animals. I got the blue throated macaw, uh, excuse me, macaw, and I am really excited to use that. So here they are. They're sort of a dark, a medium, and a light teal blue green just gorgeous i really can't wait to work with those that's going to be so much fun so thank you to orophil thread uh, for their gorgeous endangered species line um, and i have got think to get started i uh, think october will be here before we know it so i need to start thinking about what to do with that okay last but not least in that box certainly not least are these island boutique stash busters you can get these in stores this one gorgeous last time i got blue and purple this one is a green with some purples and blues, and this one is a um, more neutrals with some grays and light greens. You can see them better over here from the top. Here is the, the here's the neutral one, gorgeous. And you can see the backside, all different kinds of uh, rolled up fabric. I'm not exactly sure how much yardage is in each one, but uh, I still have some blue left over from last time and I have been using it uh, quite a bit. I love it. Um, so these are the neutrals and then here are the more rainbow colored. You can see sort of purples and reds and greens, which I needed some green. So thank you to Island Batik. Again, these are their stash busters and you can buy those in stores too. All right, so that's box number one. So now we're ready for the smaller box, which is box number two. So let me pull that out and we will dig through it too. All right, so here we go. Don't mind these, uh, all the noise from the, <laughs> from the, um, from the, the paper packaging. Oh, this is all fabric. Come on, who doesn't love fabric? Who, which quilter doesn't love fabric? Tell me one that doesn't. <laughs> here we go. Gorgeous. All right. All right, so here it is. It's all unpacked. This box, the smaller box, was all fabric, which if any quilter will tell you is their favorite thing to get. So let's get started. Let me show you what I got. We're going to start up here at front. This is a surprise. This is, um, I can't unwrap this yet. Well, I can behind camera, but you can't see it until November. That's our November project. So can't wait to show you this. Again, it's a surprise. No peeking. Okay, so let's see what else was in here. This is Batik Foundations bundle that coordinates with the summer collection. Now that would be the November project, the surprise box I just showed you, or the wrapped package. So these coordinate with that. So hmm, I think this might give you a little bit of a hint of uh, what those colors might be. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Can't wait till November. So let's see what we got here. We got dark gray solid Batik. This is from their solids line. Great. More solids. I, I'm really, really loving their solids. Let's see, a cobalt solid, cobalt blue, gorgeous. Mm. I'm a blue person, I love blue blue fabrics. A cream, I can always use neutrals, creams for backgrounds, that sort of thing. This is from their neutrals line. Ooh, a dark gray, almost like a charcoal. It's called Smoke, it's from their Bodacious Blacks. Gorgeous, has a little bit of modeling, you can see that up close, very nice. Here is Dot Sky from their Blenders collection. Very pretty. It's got like some gray in the background. Excuse me, gray modeling and then some white uh, cream. See, it's not white. Cream dots. 
And last but not least, let's see, we have Marble Storm. It's like a really, really, really dark blue, and it does look a little bit like a dark storm. And that's from their Blenders line. So you can see all of those gorgeous. So that coordinates with my November project. And last but not least in that box is more fabric and absolutely gorgeous. I hope you can see the colors in here, purples and greens and blues. This is for, this is spring of 2021. This is called Proud Peacock, designed by Kathy Engel. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to pull them out so you can see them. Let's see. This is called Mini Dot Sea Mist uh, Proud. Oh, this is from the Proud Peacock line. Yeah, so it's called Proud Peacock Mini Dot Sea Mist. Oh, gorgeous. Let's see. This is... Again, Feather Aqua. Mm. Okay, each one is prettier than the next. I can't can already tell you I can't find a, a favorite on this one. Paisley Feather Proud Peacock. Gorgeous. That has some purples and teals in it. Ooh, here's some green. This is Feather Pine. Nice, a darker green. Here is Spirals Grass. Ooh, very pretty blue. This is Ocean. Arches Ocean, excuse me, Arches Ocean. Here's Arches Jungle Water. Hopefully you can see all these. This is Mardi Gras. Ooh, la la, that's gonna be fun. These are all, they're very so bright and cheery and um, they are a little bit like a party a fiesta. <laughs> This is celery, very pretty. I like that a lot. Almost a neutral with the little spots of purple and blue. Here's another gorgeous lime. This is uh, feather lime. Here is feather pond moss, gorgeous. More feather, this is bluebird. And that does look like a bluebird. Luckily we have bluebirds around here. So this is pool, very nice. Ooh, this looks like scales to me. Oh, and it is called Scales. That's the Scales Water. Well, there we go. That's uh, uh, Paisley Feather Denim. Very nice. Very uh, Another sort of cobalt blue, but a little bit more muted. And then Paisley Dot Turquoise. Ooh. Yeah, I'm ooing and eyeing over all of these. Sorry, they're just, they really are beautiful. This is Tea, Feather Tea. Couple more. Arches Hunter Green, gorgeous. Two more for this one. Spirals Light Bermuda. I'm just gonna put that up there like that. Well, maybe, no, we'll put it like that. And more scales. This is uh, medium. I don't, it does, that's what it says. Peacock Scales Medium. Very pretty, that's like a mid-color mid, a mid turquoise. And then some coordinates uh, with that as well. I got two yards of celery. By the way, these are all half yard cuts. So I got Got two yards of celery to coordinate with that. And the celery is from their uh, Glorious Greens. I believe that's their neutral line. Very pretty. It definitely has a nice undertone of green in that. And then last, it was uh, from their blenders, Large Netting Ivy, another green. So this is gonna be a green themed quilt, which you can tell I like if you look at the one behind me. That was Citrus Sun from last, that was released in, um, February of 2021. That's that line is all those greens and some blues in there too. So here we go. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Okay. And then last but not least, didn't I say that last time? I can't remember. I'm just so excited to open this box and see all these gorgeous fabrics. Um, this is the foundations that coordinate with those fabrics I just showed you. And these are a lot of solids and some others. So let's see what we got. We got another solid lime green solid batik. Ooh. And like I said before, those solids, if you've never worked with these Island Batik solids, they are so nice to work with. They just have a real nice hand to them, which I really like. Here's just a solid green, very like a Kelly green. That's from their solids. Blueberry, more blue. Can never have too much blue in my book. That is from their Brilliant, brilliant Blues. Here is Half Yard. These are all Half Yard cuts. This is grape and it is purple. Love it, love it, love it. That's from the... Playful purple is very fun, and it is fun. <laughs> Blenders, small pointed floral turquoise. Gorgeous. Love that. And yes, I do say that for every single piece of fabric because their fabrics really are, really are beautiful. Um, and then last but not least, and this really is it, Cheerio 
Bermuda, and that's like a turquoise, lighter turquoise circles with dark turquoise. So there you have it. There's everything that was in those two boxes that I got. We got a set of boxes back in January, and this is our second set, and this video is going to be premiering in July of 2021. All of those goodies are going to last me, hopefully, until the end of the year, although I don't know. I'm pretty inspired by so, uh, most of those things, so I can't wait to get moving on them. But it has just been such a pleasure doing this so far this year. I thank Island Batik, I thank Aurifil Thread, Schmetz Needles, AccuQuilt Go system, which I've been using, which is just great. Studio 180, Hobbs Batting for all of that batting, unbelievable. Uh, and um, Patterns by Annie, just so many wonderful things to work with. Uh, I said it in the last video that I did in January. I'm overwhelmed right now. So this afternoon, guess what I'm doing? I'm going to be taking some still photos, which I probably put up here too. Hopefully you'll see them in the video. You get a close up of all these goodies. And I will be playing with some fabric. I need to start uh, warming up my sewing machine because it's going to be busy in the next six months. So make sure and hit that subscribe button so you can see all of the goodies I make with Island Batik and all of my other projects too. Uh, I do a monthly project for them and I do a main project and then usually as a bonus I've been doing like a secondary pattern. Uh, this little blue one here was the one from February. That's my uh, 3D friendship star pattern. So I do a little extra goodie. It's a freebie pattern that I like to do too uh, for their project. Um, so you can check those out too. So anyway, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. I am on social media at Create with Claudia, and my website is www.createwithclaudia.com. So I really appreciate you stopping by today to watch. Have a great day.